lovely to be here at the Irish Life uh, Dublin Marathon Expo from Sports Tours International with Nell and Paul. Good to see you, Frank. Your reputation nice you. is huge here in Ireland. Oh, thank and, uh, you. <laughs> lots of runners already talking about visiting your stand, which is an excellent stand as well. Thank you. So, thank you. Tell me, Paul, uh, lots of things ahead of 2025. You have a great uh, half marathon series and all these different marathons across the world as well. Uh, what's on the menu for 2025? There's a lot on the menu. I think that um, as a business, uh, we've been around in Ireland for over 35 years now. And uh, I think we're known for our entries to the World Marathon Majors, uh, of which people will be aware there's six of. So in the spring, you've got um, the Tokyo Marathon, Boston Marathon and London Marathon. And then in the autumn, you've got um, Chicago, You've got New York and you've got Berlin. Um, and for next year, we, um, we've we got the candidate majors, which are of interest to people. So uh, their major, their races that are hoping to become uh, Abbott World Marathon majors in the, uh, in the future. So yep. a big announcement in next week, hopefully in New York, around whether Sydney will become the next uh, marathon major so that'll be interesting news um, we had the Cape Town marathon last week and they're uh, eager to become part of that uh, roster of races and then recently announced a couple of weeks ago was that the Shanghai marathon in China is uh, is looking to become uh, a marathon major so there's a lot of, uh, of interest um, around the world around the marathon majors but the other thing as well that's, uh, that's very exciting are the Super Halves. So for anyone who hasn't heard about the Super Half series, the Super Halves, as the name suggests, is a series of half marathons. So again, it's six half marathons. Um, they are based in Europe. So um, the, you know, they're very accessible for, the, for our Irish runners. And yeah, we have a lot of interest in that. So, announced this week as part of the programme was Copenhagen and just to give a demonstration of the interest the Copenhagen half marathon went on sale this week on Wednesday morning I think it was yeah. and uh, I think the field size was 10,000 and they had 40,000 people online trying to get an entry so um, they sold out within two hours uh, where we come into it is that we've got guaranteed entries. So uh, one, isn't the, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The exclusivity. Uh, yeah, of, uh, yeah. The guaranteed. The guaranteed yeah. entry. Yeah. So you don't have to um, wait up all morning and try and uh, and get in the queue to get an entry. Mm. You don't have to enter a ballot. So yeah, we have guaranteed entries. So a uh, full so package of accommodation and the best places and everything. Else. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely, and. Um, so next spring we're looking forward to going to Lisbon for the Lisbon half in March and then we've got um, again another interesting concept that's captured a lot of people's imagination is um, in the month of April you've got on Saturday the Prague half and then on Sunday the following Sunday the following day you've got the Berlin half mm. so that has really captured a lot of people's imagination because it'd be fantastic to do two half marathons double over one up. weekend yeah. and double up. Yeah. So the super half concept works on basically you get an it was called an e-passport. Uh, so you register online um, and you've got 60 months uh, or five years in which to do all six half marathons. Yeah. So um, we're very much looking forward to that series next year. And as I say, the interest has been has been huge. Yeah. And it attracts, a, there's a different type of runner as well for half marathons. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, when we've spoken to the race organizers, they, like the profile of the runner is much younger. Yes. Um, yes. And these are magical cities in, in Europe. So, yeah, yeah. Oh, delight for a great, great uh, targets for runners as well. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And then it, just, just to finally finish off on that, Frank, in the autumn, you've got, uh, Lisbon half, the Copenhagen half, and the Cardiff half. So, it's a fabulous series, and it's a it's a great way to get into to give yourself a new objective. Yes, and indeed, and now I believe you're enjoying running around the streets of Dublin. Yeah. Hearing. 
Have you been out already, even though this had already started the expo? I believe you might have been out striding around Dublin City I have, City already. yeah. Yeah, so as part of our packages, we always do a shakeout run um, on the morning before. So our rep, Owen, who's um, from Ireland, um, took our runners out um, from our hotel all the way to the expo. So it's just a really nice way to like, loosen your legs, um, get like a bit of those nerves gone before the race on Sunday. Um, and we saw um, some really nice sights. We saw like Dublin Bay, um, past the stadium as well, all the way to the expo. So yeah, it was a really nice morning. So you give the runners an opportunity to explore the city that they're yes. racing in. Yeah, yeah a bit of sightseeing, yeah, really nice. Great, and what do you think of the whole expo here now? It's really, really good, isn't it? Really busy, yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, and it's lots of visitors. Yeah, yeah, we do yeah. quite a few expos over the year, but Dublin is so friendly. Everybody is really always friendly. smiling and really? looking forward to the race. And uh, we have some great chats with people, you know. So uh, people who've run with us before, mm. and um, obviously everyone's super excited about tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Um, weather looks good. Um, big improvement over good. last year, and uh, yeah, let's hope that it's uh, another wonderful Dublin marathon for it's everyone really tomorrow. Fun. You'll be off to New York though as well. Yes, I am, yeah. So that's one of our biggest races, isn't it? Yeah. Because yeah. it's huge. Great. So many um, runners uh, yeah. have followed us with our journey, so it'll be really nice to see them again in New York. But again, I suppose the message for all Irish runners is you don't have to queue up, as you say, you don't have to spend hours online. Yeah. The complete package is there for Sports, tra sports Tours International to yeah. Yeah. get you there and to look after you. Absolutely. And to explore the city that you're yeah. visiting. Yeah, yeah. And that's what we, we uh, certainly have built upon in the past few years is to make it more experiential yeah. for, mm -hmm. um, for our runners. Um, you know, we, we've got New York to look forward to. We're taking hundreds of Irish runners over to New York next weekend. Yeah. Uh, so that'll be fantastic again. And um, yeah, well, everyone will have a wonderful time. Maybe I'll get on the plane next week. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right, so thank you. you. Thanks, Frank. Okay. okay. Take care.